A couple of weeks ago, the D-Max went into the shop for a bit of a cosmetic upgrade that I've been really excited to share with you guys. In my last video, I was trying to place my camera to not show what this upgrade was, to not ruin the surprise, but obviously if you've seen the thumbnail and you've read the title of this video, you know what this is about already, so check out my brand new tray. So this is MRT's brand new tray only, which I'm very excited and fortunate to have on the back of the D-Max. This is the same dimensions as the last tray, so 1650 long, 1800 wide, so my canopy's still gonna fit on there, no troubles at all, which is great news. The main difference between this one and the old model is this one's been designed to give you a nice seamless look when that canopy is installed. So when I get home, I'll chuck the canopy back on and uh, do some pants so you guys can see exactly what I mean. But essentially, this new tray achieves that with three main differences. The first one you might have already noticed is that these areas that used to be silver on the first tray, so these side pits, uh, the one on the back there as well, they are now powder coated black, which looks really, really neat. And the biggest uh, surface of them all, the, uh, the deck of the tray here, that is also powder coated black in the same black as the rest of the tray. So I reckon that looks really neat. Honestly, if the D-Max wasn't so bouncy with uh, the canopy lifted off, I'd probably uh, be tempted to cruise around with just the tray on the back more often, but it is quite a bouncy ride. The second difference is probably the most significant, and that is under the tray here. They've got some brand new redesigned toolboxes that really contour underneath the tray here as well. You get that nice chiseled angle, which looks really, really neat. These are vehicle specific, so this one is uh, specifically designed for the D-Max and the 1650 tray. And notice at the end here, there's a bit of an infill cap here. So that whole uh, angle continues seamlessly onto the rear plate of the tray, which just looks fantastic. The only downside to these toolboxes is because they are nice and flush with the edge of the tray for that really seamless finish when the canopy is installed. We have had to sacrifice those uh, rope rails that used to be on the side of the tray here. Now, for most people that kind of leave their canopy on all the time or just lift it off around camp, that's not going to be a problem at all, but it's definitely something to keep in mind if you do like to use your tray as an area to tie stuff down because you don't have those, uh, those rope rails anymore. But other than that, pretty, pretty awesome. The third and final change is less cosmetic and more functional, and that is a brand new under tray drawer. Now, when I had this first setup installed on the D-Max about a year ago, all the stuff was brand new and the under tray drawer that was available at that time was more designed for the canopies that you had like a, a rear access door without all those accessories. And the second lid for the old under tray drawer couldn't open when the, well, obviously the ladder was on the back there and everything was just in the way. I knew that when it was installed, but this is the brand new model designed for setups that do have those accessories. It's just got the one bigger lid so you can still access all your uh, internal space, even with those accessories on the back, which is just awesome. So those are the three main differences between this brand new tray and the older model, mainly cosmetic as you guys have seen, and I reckon it looks just fantastic.